Just a few months ago, a bill creating the Foster Parents Bill of Rights was signed into law. Now, several groups are in the process of putting all that together. News 8 State House Bureau Chief David Williams reports from the State House. That Foster Parents Bill of Rights is coming together. It's taking shape. Now we're getting a look at what's inside. I'm excited about that. It's important. Heidi Curtis loves being a foster mother, but she sees challenges in the foster system within the Department of Child Services. We're just respected as if we're just glorified babysitters. That's one of the reasons she's so glad she's included in part of a group of people creating a Foster Parents Bill of Rights. I'm anxiously awaiting for it to be there <laughs> so we can use it, but um, it's important to make sure that everything gets put in there that needs to be put in there so that as foster parents, we get heard because it matters to the life of the child. Curtis wants foster parents to be heard in the courtroom. So that we would be able to submit a court report that the judge can see. A judge sits there and they are given all kinds of information from different parties, but uh, nine times out of ten they're not seeing um, a report from the foster parent, and we are on the front lines with that child. Christy Cundiff with Indiana Foster and Adoptive Parents met with DCS officials two weeks ago about the Bill of Rights. We're waiting on the draft to come out, and we'll either have further discussion on that, we'll make changes with it again, and then hopefully it will be approved soon. Republican State Senator Erin Houchin co-authored the legislation. She believes it's important for foster parents to be heard. We should be uh, have this document to give them some support um, to be clear to the Department of Child Services what we as a General Assembly expect in the treatment of our foster parents. Heidi Curtis tells me she knows this whole process isn't quick or easy, but the reward and peace of mind for the children and foster parents like her is priceless. It's going to lessen the turnaround is our hope, of course, is that the current foster parents that are already in the trenches, frustrated, to keep them from quitting. Heidi Curtis says she hopes the Bill of Rights will be in place by the end of this year or early next year. At the State House, I'm David Williams, Wish TV News 8.